Right, here we are. Good afternoon. Welcome into the stream. Welcome back to the channel. How are we all? Hope we're doing well. On today for Manufacturers, the final round of Manufacturers. And yeah, we're on a bit early today. We normally go at the uh, afternoon slot, but uh, we're on today a bit earlier because uh, we've got a few bits to do later on. So, so yeah, the first afternoon stream on the channel. I hope the lighting's all right because uh, we're normally... We normally stream at night time, don't we? So uh, it's dark and I've got the lights on and whatnot. So hopefully you can see what's going on and uh, we'll uh, see what happens any manufacturers then. So the plan, we'll do a couple of daily base Cs on uh, an American account first on Autopolis to get going. We'll go to manufacturers at four o'clock. We'll do that and then we'll go probably one or two more dailies. I need to be finishing at about half past five. So we've got a bit of time to get a few bits and bobs done. So yeah, we'll start off then with a bit of daily base C on the American account. Get a couple of these done. Just want to do a couple more daily base C's. Quite enjoying daily base C this week, so I thought I'd uh, try to get on and get at least two done before we go to manufacturers. So we'll do that to start off with today. Got seven minutes to get into it. That's fine. Let me set up on. So yeah, like I say, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. We've got uh, Chris Pettis there. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for good luck. Do appreciate it. Hopefully, manufacturers will go relatively well. I've done some practice, so we'll get over there probably about when's the three o'clock daily base finish? About 20, 25 past three. Yeah, so we'll have a bit more practice before the actual manufacturers kicks off. Da -da 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 -da. Put some forty. Yeah, Break balance. Can't remember five. We'll soon see if it's uh, the right one or not. Right, let's get on. How far it doesn't matter how I put a ghost on. Don't matter. Five minutes to go, that's all right. A couple of these, and um, we'll go back to the main account to do manufacturers at well, the race is at four, four o'clock.
be able to run these two again in the Citroen, the GT by Citroen. Been using it all week on this daily, the uh, Citroen GT by Citroen, pretty good car. Had some uh, good runs here on Thursday, so we'll try to make the two we're going to do here before manufacturers good as well. Two and a half before we go in. That's about another lap. Yeah, another lap to, to go round. down on this corner here I know on Thursday we had a bit of a half spin on here on Thursday so try not to uh, do that again today I don't right, it depends what time we get done with manufacturers but it's quite a long one so I don't know we might I was looking at maybe coming back to Autopolis for one more afterwards but it depends like I said I need to be gone by around half past five so that's about three three and a bit hours from now failing that we haven't got time to do an autopolis we could always do a monza monza american account back of the grid i ain't got a time on monza on this account so just do one of those maybe or two depending on how much we've got time wise but we'll start off then with uh an autopolis so yeah i think this is the uh the first daytime stream that we've done on the channel so far We're in there, back on Autopolis then today. Yeah, we've got two maximum, so two two of these max before we we go in. Fifty two three, yeah, that would improve that today. Right, are we good to go on the uh, on the front row for this one? Yeah, we should be okay for time.
we've got some quick drivers in this one. doing the stops at the beginning, I'll probably do mine at the end again, lap 8, depending on how we get on. That's going to put us down to the, the net race lead for now then, so lap 2. the second gear, I should have done that, it just upset the rear end a bit there. A bit vulnerable now to P2. Possible move there for the race lead, quite possibly. Let's keep off playing. Make a work for it, round the outside, a little bit of a tap there, apologies. <laughs> sort of pull us along a little bit and maybe save our tyres a little bit. We've got no plans to change the wheels, so see how we get on. Hello Aaron, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you, hope you're doing well. New cars next week. Oh, has there been a uh, has there been the uh, the post that normally comes out with the the silhouettes of the of the cars? So Lamborghini. I'm getting the Ursus Audi R8 and the Toyota 1. Ooh.
downshift it just yeah, sort of halfway around that last corner. But as soon as you do put your foot down to power around it, you stop you dropping it too much speed wise. So I've got my brake balance all the way to the rear, so. See how that's gonna do on the tyres as we get to lap seven, eight, nine. So no Thursday, some of the races we were doing on air, the tyres were shredded by, by the end of it, but some of them, it was all right. They uh, they did hold on a bit longer. Lap six now, and the nine. Off the last corner. I wonder if their tyres behind us are better than ours, where they've got the brake balance on and what setup they're running as well. Because our rears are a little bit uh, at the minute. They've got better tyres than us, and that's maybe why they're as close as they are at the moment. Tyres are better got more in the corners, more turn, more grip than what we have. Deep in the hairpin. 
ど。Let's stop this lap, lap eight. The car behind us is the net leader, so we'll be fourth, maybe third. Pit stop time. Don't change the tyres, don't take any fuel. So you're going to be fourth, 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 fifth, I reckon. Watch the tyres with this nice little bit on this uh, final lap. The front left is a little bit gone <laughs> compared to the others. Noticing that on that. Still get through though, in P5.
Not too bad, P5. Where's that? A nice little warm up before the manufacturer's got time for probably another one of these and then we'll go over to the Nürburgring to do manufacturers. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to switch accounts to do it. Doing the uh, the dailies in America and we'll do the manufacturers on our main account. Oh, well, there we are. I'll have a clean race thing as well. Clean race bonus. Pretty good that. It's a good battle there at the uh, up at the front there, but uh, it's yeah, it's the break. I think the break balance in this one is you have that where it needs to be with the right setup, and uh, the break balance looks after your tyres a bit more. So if their brake balances are different based on what setups they're running. They get more tyres than what we do. And that's maybe why I'm not so bad though. P5. Uh, yeah, we'll have, to, uh, we'll have another one. Where does it go? Three. Oh yeah, we've got time to do another one of these. Might as well have. Yeah, we've been running the Citroen this all week, so we'll do Citroen again. Uh, yellow for this next one. So why not? Right, I can't remember the rest of it. So, uh, when we look in. That's it. Alright, get the uh, lava ghost on this one, I think, to. There we are. You have just joined us. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. How are you doing well? We're a bit early today for uh, manufacturers. So going at four o'clock to uh, the manufacturers, as we're not going to be around for the one we normally do at six. Slightly a bit on, on there.
that's at 52, 6, about 3 tenths away. Save it. Actually, it restarts a lot easier, saves time. Morning, Smokey. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Good luck and remember to have fun. Yeah, cheers for that. Do appreciate it. I'm sure it'll be pretty good fun when it rains, when it's going to rain. Because it will rain at some point at four o'clock. It's a matter of when and how much of it there's going to be. One fifty-two. Yeah, we're not uh, we're not quite poised to go quicker. Got a minute and twenty to go. Got the white knuckles, me. I don't know actually. Well, yesterday I managed to break the weather radar when I was practicing. Mainly, I got buttons mapped to zoom it in and out properly. So I've had a bit of a look at it, and uh, it shouldn't do it today. But if it does, and we zoom it out by accident too much, that's just me. I'll just swing it and see how wet the track is. God, it's one ten seconds to go. Got another autopolis though to do before we go off to manufacturers. Well, 
well, that pretty much compounds it. All the races that you've seen, it's rain. Right, I better uh, get ready for that. Because yesterday in practice, it started to rain. I think lap two, it started to rain. Uh, got 14 well we've got no worries of rain on this one on Autopolis although next week Daily Race C is coming up with uh, wet weather tyres so well we'll see what uh, that one's going to do Get the uh, get ready. So three races in Oceana and one over here, and uh, and it rained in all of them. <laughs> oh, and that's a bit big. Get out of the way from there. They go from the back. Yeah, thanks for that, Smokey. Mike deployed. Yeah, thanks for that as well. Do appreciate it. Almost at a time in TT. That's good. Thirty-five-seven. That's uh, that's my time on my main account. Thirty-five-seven. I've done thirty-five-six on this one.
Lucas Suarez, thank you for the subscription. I very much appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. It's a touch of the air, the chaparral. It's a uh, interesting car, is what I'll say it is. It's an interesting car. It's kind of like, what was it? What was it built for? What does it do? What is it supposed to do? It's a car with a lot of mystery, a car with lots of questions you can ask about it. You want to sort of like go to Chaparral and just sort of say, Hi guys, what gave you the idea to build such a car? <laughs> Where did it come from? got to be careful though with invalidated laps you've just got to make sure that you don't go too far to the left stick to that white line with double yellow lines stick to them like glue one wheel on those yellow lines all the time and you should be fine and that's the nsx not sure what the nsx is like around there with its tires I sort of struggle a bit with tyres when they start going off. So yeah, what a quick, uh, quiet getaway, working on it very quietly in the garage, just, <laughs> just sort of keeping it under wraps. Getting a couple of his mates together on weekends to, uh, to build the chaparral in his garage. That. We know it's utterly pointless and can't really do anything, but uh, shall we just put a 900 horsepower engine in the back of it just because we can? So, why not? Tires, but hard to tell. They're all right, I suppose. I'm still, they're still going round, so <laughs> they're all right.
about six, seven, there enough on the front, so let's keep going. minutes to yeah so I'm doing so in uh, in Europe it's uh, two four and six manufacturers GT1 on a Saturday so we're gonna do the one at four so after this we'll be going to back over to our main account and we'll start to practice on the Nürburgring for that one because I normally do the one at six but we're not going to be around at six o'clock today, so. That's going to give us roughly uh, 20 minutes of practice, so we should be all right based on what we did last night. Next lots an hour, it should be four o'clock. So, yeah, two, four, and six. And the rain's dynamic. Yeah, I noticed in practice, if you leave practice and then go back in, the rain changes. But it doesn't just change like where it's coming from, it changes everything. It changes where it's coming from, light, heavy, medium. It literally chucks it all up in the air, so that's going to be fun. Just don't rain halfway round on the dry tyres. Don't do that, please, game. the race takes like two hours to do because we're all just like tippy-toeing around. Well, I'll get around the another lap and then we'll do the box. Seven. Seven, two. And the gap is about 16 seconds that you need to do a box stop with no tyre change to get out in front. We're at 18, so... Oh, yeah, heavy damage. I uh, 
I brushed the wall very, very lightly on practice and it damaged the whole front of my car. So I'm not uh, very careful. Yeah, so if we decide that we're going to damage the car at, <laughs> at uh, yeah, so maybe just after we join the Nordschleife from the Grand Prix circuit, we get a bit excited and we brush the wall. That's that's a good ten minutes of pain. So. Now my tyres are a bit worn. The front left is. Right, let's go. Run to the finish. Do I have it like it's qualifying on dead tyres? I can really do really if they get a run the tyres are a little bit gone the front left again I think they are going to get a run at some point on us we've got to be very leave the room as well as much as we can Don't do anything that upsets the car. Downshifting, turning, suddenly, nothing. I can't turn in. The tyres are dead. to make sure I don't go over the edge. Fun. Come out the pit lane. Temperatures in the tyres go down a little bit and then you've got to sort of work with that to get to the end. When the fronts go and the turning disappears, the rears go. You just got to be careful when you brake. Anything that shifts the weight of the car can quite easily send you off to like downshift when the car's in a straight line and stuff like that. Well, there we are nice couple of uh, autopolises and that gives us a nice bit of time to go over to the Nürburgring yeah so NSX there in P2 that looks like a good car to use it was uh, definitely pushing us there Obviously, we don't know how fresh their tyres were compared to ours. I'm guessing they were probably better than ours, given that they were right behind us there on the final lap. Right, it is 20 past three. Right, we have got... What time is it over here, manufacturers? It's uh, 10 o'clock. Right, how are these for? Yeah, still, yeah. Yeah, still gold. Yeah, those are still gold. Right, we'll bid 
farewell to the states for now. We'll do our price spin before we go. Four star roulette ticket. Have to maybe one day try and do next time it's GTWS, try and do both regions on the same stream. Be quite good. So we sort of get on for the last European and then we finish the stream with uh, the American uh, the American slot. Right, like I say, we'll bid farewell to the States for now. We'll get back over. Da -da 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 -da. Join us back in Europe for the manufacturer's practice. But what we got, it opens up in 40 minutes. That's pretty good, actually, because uh, it's a long lap at Nürburgring. Da -da 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 -da. Right, manufacturers, and we have got 20 minutes until it opens. Pretty good. Uh, right. I think just go straight on the air. I think really just go straight into it and uh, see how it goes, really. The rain, we can't predict it. It's no good at all, really. So now it's over the hour it's coming in it's coming in it's coming in it's it's getting there it's getting there it's coming in where's it coming from the north northeast so coming in from the northeast what's northeast to Nürburgring uh northeast of Germany can't think. Is it, um, is it uh, Poland, Belarus way, where it's coming from, this rain? So it's actually not coming in on that one. I think it's pointless looking for a Nissan GT on Nismo go, so I don't think anyone's going to be running the Nismo on this one. But uh, we got 8.08 yesterday. In a bit of practice, so uh, we'll uh, go in a minute. Hello, Kuro, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how'd your first race go? Uh, this is the first race, Kuro. This this is uh, this is going to be the one and only that we're going to be doing today. Um, I need to be out at six, so this is it. We'll uh, we'll have to do this one. So you got ninth. That's not bad. That's not bad. P9 from P16. Uh, uh, South Germany. Yeah, I thought it was around there. South Germany. It's the... Uh, is it around there? Eiffel Mountains. I think where Nürburgring is. So wherever the Eiffel Mountains are, that's where that's where Nürburgring is. The, uh, the village of Nürburgring. Right, the radar this time, leave it alone. I <laughs> what happened yesterday. We're not touching it, but we're going to leave it on that. Right, so in yours, it rained on lap two. Went to Inters at the end of lap one. Yeah, I suppose you don't want to go to full wet if it's only just starting to rain. So you can sort of deal with most of the lap on inters if it's going to chuck it down. Although the inters can do heavy rain, you've got to be careful how much 
how wet it gets, but you can do you can do most of it on inserts if you just watch it, just watch yourself and watch what you're doing. And then of course when it well, rains in qualifying as well, and yeah, it's gonna if you're out there on the wrong tires, that's it. You start at the back, get about it. Put your time in the bin. Because you're not saying one if it does that. So ten guys put a time in and there were there were ten minute ten minutes. It's quite a a length of that time. Try and practice this to the point where it starts to rain. So hopefully it'll start to rain at some point. But uh, yeah, radar, leave it alone. We're not touching that. It's the same as it is. Yeah, I think inters, you can get round on inters. You've just got to be careful. You've just got to watch it, like I say. And you can probably. If it gets really, really, really wet, you can still get around the linters, just got to watch it. Not so much DR this week. Yeah, some weeks are like that, though. You lose a lot of DR sometimes, depending on what the dailies are. If you get GTWS and that goes pretty bad as well, that can take a fair bit of DR off here as well. overcast that you just sort of you know it's going to do something but you don't know when it's kind of like in the summer when it gets really like dark outside and you know at some point it's going to be a big massive thunderstorm but you don't know when it's going to come you sort of feel it and you smell it as well it's in the air it's kind of what it's like with this one it's going to rain at some point So yeah, if it rains and we're on this bit, on dry tyres, it's going to be a very, very long way back to pit lane. But even on the straight bit, if it rains on there, we're still going to be a long way back to the pit lane with stick tyres. They're in Scotland, it rains. Rain is out and no clouds. Scotland's not so bad. Be 
used to go to a place in Scotland called Fraser back in the day. I used to go with my dad to, uh, when he was uh, truck driving, he used to do fridge trailers. So he used to take fish from Spain to Fraser in Scotland and then reload the trailer, bring it back down to uh, Birmingham and then we'd swap it with somebody that would then get in the truck and take it on to Spain where it was going and then we'd get in the Land Rover at uh, half past two in the morning and, uh, and drive back home and get home for like six in the morning. It's quite a few years ago that was. corner can be a little bit uh, watch it on there oh no yeah that's going to be the thing isn't it when <laughs> the, uh, your out laps dry in qualifying you get sort of halfway around your actual quality lap and then it it starts to rain you just got to manage it the best you can i suppose not much else you can do when you you get stuck in it Folk, yeah. yeah, there's, there's uh, dry races are around from what I've seen, just a case of getting lucky enough to have one, I suppose. Not close to it. Yeah, we had a few. Um, we had Fraserburgh. I think we had uh, we had a couple in um, in Glasgow as well. to go to. We had uh, quite a few around there. Yeah, I think one of the jobs that one of the jobs was doing. We had a, uh, I think it's a suburb. Of, I think it's called Campus Slang suburb in Glasgow. We used to go there to uh, to fetch steel plate that used to go to Italy. So that steel plate on a flatbed trailer with a sheet over the top of it. You put chains on it. Oh yeah, Falkirk, yep, yeah, heard of that one as well. We used to go through Falkirk. It's gonna rain, isn't it? It's gonna rain, I want the uh. The rain's coming in. Yeah, we used to go to quite a few, uh, quite a few places. We had uh, quite a few drops in uh, in Italy, northern Italy. We used to go there quite often, and then uh, we had one or two to Spain. We used to do quite a few in Germany as well. Back in this is like 20, 25 years ago now, going back.
cranes coming in. in a lap yeah the inters can do it but then yeah when it stops the inters burn out pretty pretty quick because they've got no water to yeah to keep them going so all the tread just goes bye bye that's it <laughs> you're on your own hello welsh boy welcome to the stream nice to see how you're doing well Here, but not really. Rain's coming. Uh, is it four o'clock? Yeah, four o'clock. That's uh, what we're going for. Twenty minutes. This rain is oh I hate it when it does this and it sort of it sits on the radar but it doesn't actually do anything. It <laughs> rather just rains gets it out of the way. Lobby's going to open. We've done two laps and the, the lobby's going to open in a minute already. Time's flying today. Opens in just under 
three minutes. Let's go try it and see. The windscreen wipers are going, but not really. So don't race for two days till you VR, get your VR, VR fix and then coming back. So yeah, it's it's raining a little bit because the windscreen wipers are going. Well, we can drive on a dry track with, <laughs> with inters on. Yeah, I think the rain's going to change when we go into the actual lobby itself. Because at the moment, it's not really doing anything. minutes until it opens.
still a little bit. The windscreen wipers are still going. I don't think it is going to do anything now. It's coming, but it's just sort of it's hanging around. It's hanging in the trees. I think it's not. It's there, but not ready as of yet. Still do a dry track on inters, so uh, you can still go round. You might not be as quick though, but you can still go round on wet tyres and on a dry track. Yeah, lobby open now. We're going on big TV again. Yeah, cheers for good luck, Welsh boy. And uh, yeah, enjoy your popcorn. Do our best, as always, not to stack it on the. Uh, well, at all, really, so. And it's the rain that's going to be the problem. Zoom it out to see, yeah, uh, let's try it. That's 10 miles and it's just it's the same. Doing it a little bit, but again, not really. It's just spitting. That's it. That's pretty much all it's doing. <laughs> In the minute. I think it's a little bit in the top right corner, but you can't, you can barely see it. Hello M1M, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you, hope you're doing well. Like, so, yeah, thanks M1M, do appreciate it. You get a dry race, I'll be jealous. Oh well, it's... Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's not raining at the moment. It's not doing anything. It's just, it's... Again, it's like those, uh, those June, July afternoons in the summertime when it's black clouds outside. You know it's going to do something. You can, you can sense it, you can smell it in the air. But it's just about when it's going to do it. Right, I'll uh, we'll park up and go to the lobby. Because it is raining here now, but not really. It's just sort of spitting again. 
not enough for wet tyres. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Right, so the lobby is open, so we better get ourselves in as to not miss it, because, uh, like I say, we're not here at six. <laughs> we missed this one, that's it, tough. So, uh, seven minutes, let's get in. Hang on, the uh, tyre's on. Right, so out of there, into free practice, things have reset a little bit. So now we're coming in from the east. We've got an easterly band of rain that is making its way. And we're getting into the Eiffel Mountains now at... Uh, oh, so it's sort of... Well, that's interesting. It sort of hangs around again, but not really. It sort of comes in there, doesn't it? From the east. Coming in now. And it's just sort of, yeah, it's just sort of going around, isn't it? It's going around the track, but not quite getting there in the hour. The bigger picture, it is quite a large band of rain, but it is just about missing where we are. A bit of a mixture, really. You've got light rain and a bit of intermediate rain as well. Uh, yeah, well. Well, we'll go back to the driver. I'm not really, uh, I'm not really a qualified weatherman. So, uh, I can't really uh, explain it any <laughs> better than that. Are we, uh... Yeah, there's no settings there. So, there's no settings. Hello, PWR. Welcome to the stream. It's nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Likes and sub. Yep, do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Welcome to the channel. Post the hard tyre is a good choice to make sure that you can you can get around the whole of the Nodge Life without any uh, any problems. But uh, well, if it rains, that'll be utterly pointless, really. <laughs> All about the rain.
two and a half minutes to go. Bit in the ring is pretty good, sort of like get around that one, and then it's this one. It's quite good as well. It's uh, just get around them. Just a bit go around that one there. Thank you, Alicia. Yeah, cheers, M1M. I do appreciate it. get down this bit with what we've got left half a minute strap in the next hour or so could be a bit tasty a bit interesting here we go du, 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 du. Yep, yeah, cheers Kuro, do appreciate it. What's the rain doing now? It's but everybody's looking at the radar in the uh in the lobby. Dry tires, right, yeah. It's going round the track again, it's hard to tell. Got in here. I've got uh, we've got some uh, yeah we've got some very fast racers in here. It's going to be tough. Although we have got another Nismo. We've got Porsches, McLaren, Mazda in eleven Supra. Just before we go into the what is it two five five for P one in this one. So it's quite a good lobby. Right, we'll go qualify on the dries, but it just does whatever, really. With regards to the weather, there's not much we can do. Yeah, two laps at least, that'd be good. That's definitely better than no laps that are <laughs> no dry laps. So we'll have some dry running for definite. to go on this one because it's a long way to get round.
lap one and lap two into three with dry on yours. If it rains at the start, it gets it out of the way. If it, if it starts dry, it rains at the end. It is, at the moment, doing not much. So I'm gone. As long as the uh, Porsche can get round in time, I'm quite happy just to sit behind them and start to build the gap to them on the straight. If we get round in time, we should do. We've got, we've got nine minutes from here to get round the North Schleifer. We've got, yeah, not much behind at the moment, so that's all right. Just stop here then and just circulate to get round. The uh, yeah, that's the fans doing barbecues in the uh, in the uh, the little camp areas. I thought it was rain then. fuel on here.
got to start looking now for who's behind us. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. You. Lot easier just to get out of the way because we're gonna have a bit of dirt on the tires, scrub that off down here. They've gone in front, there's nobody really, no, nobody really behind us, so we can just keep our foot in. That's dry. Hello, Shumi. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. It's all dry. Good.
still dry. Two there that have gone sub eight, I'm not quite sure we'll get that, but another one there that's gone sub eight. Seven seven fifty seven is currently in pole position. So eight P six at the minute down to seven. So we've still got five six that are still running. So we could we could be thirteenth at this rate. We'll have to uh, see what these guys are going to be doing. But we've still got. Three and a half minutes to go, down to P8. P9. Four more to come in, and if all four of them are quicker, we are going to be in P13. Ten. Any of these three beat seven fifty seven to go into pole. We've got two minutes and forty three to do it. What is this? So pole position is in Mercedes. the weights to see where they all are or where the, uh, where the three of them are on the track and one of them's right down at Carousel and could be here for a while and there's one of them that puts us down to P11 two more to come in Eleven at the minute. Yep, yeah, at least we'll miss the uh, the chaos at the front. 
just take our time with it really from the back we're going we're still there the 11 minute and a half to go Hello Hoxton, welcome into the stream. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Are you doing the 6 p.m.? Uh, no, mate. I'm uh, I'm going out uh, tonight, so that's why I'm doing this one now. We're still there minutes ago, and we've still got these two to come in. Gotta be on the straight bit by now. Du -du -du -du. It's a mixed bag, really. So, what's them two are coming in? We've got Mercedes on pole, Porsches at the front, Mazda's in fifth, Nismo's gone in eight. So, Nismo is still still has some power, but not very much. But the Nismo can still get the job done in the right hand. And these two here leaving it right to the end. So you could argue the track's been rubbered in, and these two are just going to take advantage of all of the rubber that the other 14 runners have laid down, and they're going to come in a little bit quicker. They're going to make it or not, though. Time is up, and looks as though we are going to be in P11 for this manufacturer's line. And I think we've got 54 seconds to go, so we're just going to go for a very, very quick pit stop before we get started. Make sure that we're all uh, good to go. So, 50, 30 seconds. Right, I'll be back in just a sec, and then... We'll get on with manufacturers. Right, I'll see you in a minute. fastest pit stop in the world here we are ready to go and it is dry to start with then so let's see p1 mercedes 757 with a porsche p2 there with a 750 it's got a few guys in the sub eight minutes they're going to be running their own race up there at the front into the eight now with p4 mazda mazda rx vision in fifth, Supra going in P6, Peugeot in seven with the window wipers going on there. They're trying to tell us something we don't know. Ferrari 458 in P10 on row five. There we are, P11. Or Corvette, that could be a threat on the high speed bit. Now, we're not seeing the radar before the beginning. But it caused problems. Who knows? Yeah, cheers, Bosch boy. But a good luck. Do appreciate it. A quick sit wreck. 
Yeah, cheers, Hoxton. Do appreciate it. There is no rain at the moment, so we'll put that to one side. Oh, we need it to rain now. Please bucket it down. I have my full permission game to absolutely chuck it down and soak this racetrack to the point where we need canal boats. We might need it to if we're going to catch back up. That's a bit of a thing going on there with the power.
it's dry at the moment we might need a bit of the wet stuff to intervene might just help us get back into it we're uh, off the back of the pack now That's it, Smokey. We'll uh, do what we can. We had a bit of a thing at the at the beginning. I'm already there. We've moved up the place with uh, a retirement. to get on the back of them two up there. Looking at that, they're all still quite close together. We might need to pit anyway, depending on how the, these uh, racing hard tyres are going to wear, but... Still no rain. Yeah, we're going to need to pit anyway for refuelling, so... I have to run power one to keep up with them. Thank you there, that's the that's the pulse sitter there going in. Very fiddly opening part of the nerve brain. Next car behind us is half a minute, so we don't really need the radar at the minute until we start getting near the cars in front.
got 2.2. Got a sat of an artway P13. It's quite possible anyway that the guys that are now where they are in front of us would have taken us anyway on the on the Nord Cipher. So probably still be here regardless of that error on the first lap. Need it to chuck it down with rain, and we will be good to go. We need a full recreation of the two thousand and seven European Grand Prix. Or the uh, the 2011 Canadian Grand Prix, that one was pretty. That one that Jensen Button won on the final lap when he passed Vettel. We need that again, I reckon, on here. Yeah, the flags, false sense of hope. 
when you see the greens straight after them and nothing really <clears throat> nothing really happening but now all that for a minute there's a car there just in front of us there and that's the thing as well a bit like on Wednesday we weren't the quickest we just literally just stuck it on the track the entire time that was it and it it worked to a degree then there's no reason to say why it won't work here we've got one and a half so we could quite possibly go around again empty the tank and we can fill it right back up again what do these two what are these two going to do Going now, we've got one lack of fuel left. Right, what we need. It's going to rain, it needs to rain on this lap. needs to rain at least do something on this lap. We've got to maximise the pit stop by switching sweat tyres as well. It's going to rain. It does it on lap four. We have to come in again for wet tyres. Or we get a Spa 2008, I think it was, when they all pit in on the final lap when Lewis Hamilton was penalised 25 seconds, whatever it was, for uh, illegally passing Felipe Massa. I think Fernando Alonso put the full wet on the final lap and literally took like five cars or something like that in the Renault.
Liverpool looks like no chance at the minute. It really should have started by now, but it's not coming by the look of it. So it's going to be going back on to another set of the hards. Just means if it does rain, we'll have to make another stop. About. I think everyone else is running their tanks to fumes as well. Another set of types, so we have more grip at the end. But oh, the rain, not well, it's too late now. We're committing to another set of the hard tyre. top tank up to what we need right, that's it get the jump on one of them that'll be good two of them says Well, the guys on the RR250 pit wall are reporting no rain at the moment. We're just seeing someone there with intermediate tyres. This is just where for extra measure all the radars and all the drivers show completely different things. So. My radar shows it dry, whereas someone else's will show rain coming in. Someone else's will show an absolute monsoon coming in at some point. It's the ultimate way to mess with everyone. Get P10. I would take that if we can. We can catch up to P10. There's 7.9 at the minute.
noticing the gap behind us there, it's coming down quite quickly. I think I was just going a bit on that back there, wasn't really helping it either. Down to 13 runners then at the moment. Hassan in front of us, what's going on? Need to stop again. I've been under the car. Didn't put it up to the the uh, the diamond. Oh no, it's for the. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm I'm reading it wrong. I thought it was to pit this lap. Just let me negotiate this four five eight. Yeah, we're well. We're not stopping anyway. So <laughs> we're going to carry on. Don't need to stop again. Car behind's got uh, a bit of crash damage. It needs to go and final lap then. Bit of attrition, but no rain. We've got about less than ten minutes to run. Running ourselves into P10 now. Car is 12.9. A nice sort of rain shower would uh, would very nicely cut that gap down, wouldn't it? Going to confirm on the fuel that we do have enough to go. Oh, there is rain. Is it moving though? Where is it?
be nice to car and crawl up. Well, so far, I have to say, heading to a bit of an anti climax, really, to the manufacturers. The rain is around, but it's not coming in. There is still time, though, it could still come and cause issues at the end. But looking at that radar, I have to start saying that it's not going to come in, is it? sort of spread out a bit as well we're noticing that as well 49 behind the leader it does sound there but bring it up just sort of tends to spread after a couple of laps and so we're racing at five laps and expect quite a bit of that on here Could cover off behind. We're not going to make <clears throat> 12 seconds down here. 
GG's to P1 and to P2, just finishing there. Just about got enough to make it through to the end, fuel-wise. Well, we made it in P10. And there we go. A dry race all the way. It just sort of stayed there. The rain, it was sort of there, but not really. Had it had rained, yes, we could have maybe have done something a bit different. We could have we could have gone onto the wet tires and jumped one or two more. We did move up though from where we started in P11, so not too bad. But it was uh It was interesting with no rain. Yeah, and exactly M1M M1 we got ourselves a top ten finish, which is in this lobby anyway, that's definitely not so bad. What do we get? We get uh, 10. 159. So, yeah. 159. What does the winner get? The winner gets 255. So, it's pretty good. What's our total when it comes in? When it comes up? Uh, 419. I think that's the best I've done. Or one of the best manufacturers. GTWSs that we've had, so not so bad. We had a good Grand Valley. Deep Forest was a bit uh, we had a couple of bits in that one. We then had uh, what's the third one? I can't remember. Mount Panorama, that was it. We got 6th at Mount Panorama and then we've got 10th at the Nürburgring, so Guy there going from P15 to P3. Well, GG's on that one. Already, uh, I've got the replay. Not too bad. And that's manufacturers then. Yeah, 7.2 million. I don't know if that includes this result as well. But, uh, yeah, we'll take that. Oh, it's a long old race, though, <laughs> going around the Nürburgring. For, I think Nürburgring for any length of time is, uh, is a, it's a long, it's a long way to go. Although well, Mount Panorama on Wednesday, that was an hour. I think that one was the longest race I've had so far on GT7 on Mount Panorama. What we've done, yeah, not so bad. Quite pleased with that, really. Where we are with the DR and whatnot. Right, what time is it? I got a bit of time, so it's coming up to quarter past five. What can I do for 15, 15 minutes? Uh. I'll do a daily race there, I reckon, to finish off. Bit of a wind down. Yeah, I'll have a, a daily race, eh, just to finish off. And, uh, because I've, I've got to be, uh, sort of going around half past five so we'll uh, we'll have a daily race eh, to finish off well good race that on the Nürburgring and if you are enjoying the stream 
do let us know by dropping a like on the stream, very much appreciated. And if you are new around here, then why not consider subscribing to the channel for more GT7 live streams and all the rest of it. GT7 wise, all support is very much appreciated. We're going to do a daily base A then, just to get out really, finish off the, uh, the stream for today. long we got seven minutes to go seven minutes yeah see you later m1m thanks for popping in i uh, will probably see you at some point uh next week in the in the lobbies i'll be around at some point uh there we go Storm. What's this now? 1 minute 20 is pretty good. Oh yeah. I say it's a long way to go going, <laughs> going around the Nürburgring for any length of time. When you do the Grand Prix circuit and the Nordschleifer as well in one, it's a bit, uh, bit taxing. I've tried to remember how to do this now. Don't touch the walls on this daily race. You will get a, uh, a five second time penalty if you do. So just be a bit careful of that. I uh, found out the hard way on <laughs> on Monday. It's the first corner where the penalty is. Airplanes going the wrong way. Oh dear. Oh, yeah, not done this since Monday, so we're not really we're not gemmed up as much on this one as we are the other two this week on the dailies. Aeroplane stuff again.
Let's sit through that. So that 23, not going to beat the uh, 23 flat. I don't think we will anyway. Looks like daily base A next week has got quite a few twists and turns in it, it should be quite good. So that's 20, 24 again. Yeah, 24. Right, well, there we are. It will be very likely the final race for today. Another daily base A just to. Uh, wind down a bit from the uh, manufacturers in the Nurbur brain. Oh, we only have 12 in there, don't we, in Daily Rays, eh? Good week of the daily races this week. Quite enjoyed them this week. We'll see what they are, what the daily races are going to be like next week. Right, we'll see if we've got anything left after uh, five laps of the Nurburgring. So it's a false start, isn't it? This one. Five laps into the first quarter, yes, watches corner on the first lap. Lap done. We've got a P7.
lap two to go then. The last two laps of the day. Let's see what is in store. Two more runs and not getting a five second time penalty on the uh, first corner. got a penalty in front. There's a bit of a chance because penalties there do knock you out a little bit so that's P5 into the final lap. The aeroplane's flying the wrong way again. Right, let's negotiate this last corner, first corner, last corner going forwards. There was then, I think, P5. We will finish. Right, that's that one then. Where are we? Yeah, it's, uh, I think we're about there for today. Uh, yeah, looking at the looking at the time, we need to be uh, disappearing quite soon. So we'll, uh, yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll say that we've had a good week of streaming this week. The dailies have been pretty good. Uh, enjoyed the dailies this week. Both Monza and Autopolis have been pretty good. Uh, manufacturers uh, always going to be a struggle in the Nissan GTR on this mode, but uh, no, got it done in tenth. So it could have rained, but no, oh well, it's uh, one of them really. We couldn't make it rain. We tried, but unfortunately, it won't have it. So that's fine. We'll take what we uh, what we did from that. Uh, yeah, not so bad. Uh, ending the week pretty nicely. So happy days on that one. So I think that's so. We'll do our price spin. 
then I think we'll uh, we'll shut up shop. For today, what have we got today? Three star roulette ticket. Three cars. Ah, oh, don't get any of them. Well, we do get 100 grand, so yeah, we'll take that instead. Oh, wow. Right, I would say we're about there for today. Uh, another good stream. Manufacturers, like I say, not so bad. But yeah, it's been a good week. A good week in general on GT7. We've had some good races today and across the week as well. So, as always, big, big thanks for all the support on the streams and on the channel. Across the week, it is very much appreciated. And as the streams have brought to a close, just smack the like button. That would be absolutely lovely. We've got 15 likes on the stream, as always. Absolutely superb. Great work, guys. Do appreciate it. And likewise, if you are a new first-time viewer and you like what you see, then why not go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more GT7 live streams. Streaming every day, Monday to Friday, and uh, other fun bits as well on GT7. Right, wrap it up for today. Uh, where are we? Saturday. So we'll probably be back on Monday looking at the new dailies. Uh, with, yeah, one of them having wet tyres. So we'll see if that's going to go anywhere on Monday. We'll have a good look at that with the other ones as well and see what we get up to. Well, until then, there will be, of course, the weekly daily races review that will come out tomorrow at some point, which is a nice little summary that we do for daily races and whatnot. So that'll be done as and when and out on the channel tomorrow. And meantime, I'll be back on Monday looking at the new daily basis so again big thanks for all the support on the channel today and this week in general very much appreciated as ever do like and do subscribe so you don't miss out on future gt7 live streams and other fun gt7 stuff we do around here and for that note i'll see you probably on monday so that said do take care do look after yourselves do enjoy the rest of your weekend and i will see you on monday so take care guys i'll see you next week Bye.